What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to use the tabs navigation from the Slider Revolution WordPress plugin in a simple, fast and effective way. But before we can start it, please may take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours, you have no idea how much it helps us. Now, let's go to our WordPress dashboard and access the slider revolution. So, review the left side of menus on your WordPress website, select the slider revolution, click on it, select your previously made sliders, okay, right here. You can hover over the slider and click on the edit pencil. Editor is loading. It take a moment to load the editor and here are your sliders, okay? So I have a very simple slider right here with the only three images on each slider, okay? And I would like to apply a tab navigation on this. Before anything, make sure that on every single slider you add on the show, you apply a name for this slider, okay? So, because some tabs navigations uses the slider's name. How to add the name? Select the slider into, into the top right corner of your screen. Review those buttons, okay? You have this gear icon, this icon and this one, okay, click on this one, the slider options, and you're gonna be able to see the name of the slider right here at the top middle of your screen. Once right here, you can simply add a name in the case that you want. After this, all your sliders gonna have a name. In my case, I did type it number one, number two, and number three, okay? This is important for the tabs tutorial. Make sure you have this so we can enjoy more on the options. If now, let's apply the tabs navigation into the slider, okay? I'm gonna click into this other option, the navigation icon, okay? So, navigation options at the upper right corner of my screen. And here we have the progress, the arrows, the bullets, and we already have tutorials explaining how to use every single one of those. Review our YouTube channel, search for a theme plus visual model, so revolution slider plus visual model, we're gonna find all of the videos, okay? Now, let's go to the navigation options, tabs, I'm gonna need to enable the tabs type, so set on, save change, let's go to my slider already added on the page, so we can refresh and review. As you can see, the tabs works across all the sliders on your show. It did call it the slider name the main image that used to be the thumbnail, the title, and just it. But we're gonna be able to edit every single part of this, okay? First of all, we have the tabs style. Let's change to this one so we can take a test. Seems like the thumbnails are really not nice in this one. Maybe this one. Let's review. Nice. Let's review more options before coming back to the defaults. So we have the orientation, we have vertical and horizontal. Let's change to vertical. We have the align to content middle division. We can align this. We have the alignment options because let's imagine this as the slider. We can, for example, click on it and let's review what happens on the made slider. As you can see now we have on the upper right corner of our screen the sliders navigation. We have the sizes, okay, so the widget. 
we have the mask offset in the case that you like it we have the wrapper that is the a color okay in the case that you want as well we have the tabs visibility to apply an animation and speed rtl duration in the case that you are using a site like this we have we can change the global styles for example change the colors change the backgrounds change the text color in the case that you want i would like to change my text color to white i think gonna be better into this slider show Have, we can load a global layer preset in the case that you want to do this and save as a layer so we can reuse in other slider you can do this okay and finally we have the overwrite styles on slider okay for example a place where you can change our background These are all the options we have in today's style. Let's try, uh, let's try another one. Maybe this one. Let me change the orientation to horizontal once again. 